Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. I talk a lot about Salesforce and Salesforce owned products. Today we're going to be going over how to archive a Slack channel. So the purpose of archiving it is to make sure it's not accessible. Um, it's going to reduce on some storage. It still is somewhat accessible, but you can't post in it anymore. So let's go ahead and go up here to um, the name. And then I went to settings and then let's go ahead and archive the channel for everyone. This is going to give you a little message of, hey, no one will be able to send messages. Any apps will be disabled. Um, if there are external people, they'll be removed, but they still have access to the chat history. So nothing new can be said or changed, uh, but you can still see the messages. This can be super useful if a project is over and you want to make sure that you can just clean up your Slack and yeah. But you still have access to that information in case something pops off in the project, make it kind of go again, such as error messages. You can still see what that chat history was and whatever it was. When I was working in IT, we used Slack, we would archive whatever projects we would be working on, but sometimes we would have issues, so we'd have to go look at the archived channels to see what kinds of development was made, and that can be super useful in the case of error messages or um, trying to go back and see who did what on what project so we can contact the right people. But let's go ahead and click archive here, and there we go. It has been archived. Now, if we want to go access the archive, we can go up and search for it. So I know that it was project archive. We can see that it is. Now, if you want to close the channel, you could go ahead and do that there. But that's how you archive a channel. Hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thanks so much. Catch you guys in the next one.